Creole. Shrimp Creole. We like that, but guess what? Chef Winston got Calypso Shrimp Creole along with a banana fritter with a chocolate rum sauce. This is Floridian Cuisine with Chef Winston. We're about to turn it up, flavor it up, and have a lot of fun this time around on this season. Stay with me, get your notepad, pay attention, let's get to cooking. Shrimp Creole, of course, my Calypso version of the shrimp Creole. It's similar to what you know and love if you go to New Orleans, but of course, Chef Winston, we always bring, try to bring a little twist, my Floribian twist, that is. This is this dish. The first time I ever made this, I remember working as a young cook back in the Virgin Islands, the United States Virgin Islands. I was working at the, um, this place on the beach called Tavern on the Beach, and we had this shrimp dish, so I was responsible for making the sauces. And this particular sauce that I'm gonna share with you guys this afternoon, is the same situation with a little bit of elevation. First things first, what you need to get is a nice little saucepan. Get it nice and hot, okay? I got my onions, I got my garlic, I got my um, peppers. So, you're gonna take a little bit of olive oil into your hot pan. Okay, a little bit of oil into your hot pan. Make sure it's nice and hot. You don't want it too hot to scorch your vegetables, but we want it to make it look good, okay? And taste good. We wanna make the atmosphere fragrant. That's what we're doing, okay? Let's see how this bad boy look in here. Oh, perfect. You can put a little bit, hear that sizzle? What we doing, we're trying to wake up this onion. Once we start to smell and get this onion limp, then we're gonna go to stage two, okay? This sauce is gonna be so, so good. Woo! Serve this here with some, ah, with some rice, or your plantains, or some vegetables. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be amazing. Now, I'm gonna follow this with some red, some peppers, that's some, you can have red peppers, any color kind of color you like. I got some red and orange right here. And as you're moving down, you always want to season. Season your layers. Make it taste good, right? Make it taste good, feel good, and it's smelling oh so good already. Mmm. Okay, while this is here working, I'm gonna add some garlic. Building more flavors on top of that. This is gonna be so nice. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. So, we're going to turn, turn this down just a little bit. I want it to saute a little bit, so I'll be right back with you, okay? Yes, as you can see, now, this has limped very well. The fragrance, the smell, it's smelling very, very good. Now, for the base of this sauce, right, you can add tomato paste. You can add a tomato crushed product, but what I'm gonna do, I'm adding me some V8 juice with a little bit of kick in it already. Not too much because I still wanna elevate it, all right? Just a little quick, quick sauce. Look how beautiful this looks already. It's coming together, all right? Mmm, and we're gonna bring this up to a boil. While that's trying to come up to a boil, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper flakes. Just a touch bit of pepper flakes and a little bit more salt. So while this is coming up to a boil, we're gonna season our shrimp so we can understand the flavors of what this Floribian dish is bringing. So, what I got here, I've got me some fresh Florida Gulf Coast shrimp that we're gonna season up. Look how beautiful this shrimp look. Ah! Now, we're not gonna season this with salt and pepper. What are you gonna season with, Chef? I'm glad you asked. I'm gonna be flavoring this up with my jerk seasoning. Chef Winston got a line of jerk seasonings. This one is the mild flavor. This is a little spicy. We don't wanna overbear it. We don't want people to be fanning their mouth as they're enjoying this food. They want them to enjoy it. So I'm gonna use the mild version of my Caribbean Island flavored jerk seasoning. You can find these jerk seasoning on cateringcc.com. And you'll be cooking, flavoring just like me. All right. So what I'm doing here, I'm taking the seasoning, let's open the bigger side, and we're just gonna flavor it, season it. The smell on this here is amazing. And look at the sauce, is bubbling down. Let's turn it down a little bit. Looking good. We're gonna turn it around. 
Make sure this seasoning gets on every crevice. We want it in the tail. So once you eat this, you're gonna suck the tail. That's right. Woo wee! Oh man, these recipes and more, go to Chef Winston Cooks on Instagram. On Instagram, two Instagram accounts. Chef Winston Cooks and Catering CC. And if you travel over to YouTube, type in Catering CC. I've got a plethora of videos out there. Fun stuff, cooking tips. You're gonna like that. So, moving right along, my sauce is looking good. Let me taste to see where we are at right now. Sauce is looking nice. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this is what we are working with. This here is a winner. Are we just getting started? Let's, okay. So, let me get my pan hot. I'll be right back, okay? Oh. Listen, this smell so good. So let's keep moving along. But you know what? Before we work on this shrimp, let's set this aside. And we're gonna work on our banana fritters, okay? Very simple recipe, and it's so, so tasty. What I got, the best way to make a banana fritters is to get you some over-ripened bananas. What I got here, I got two of them. We're gonna cut up and we're gonna mash, all right? Nothing, nothing fancy, see? Got a little bit of dark spots. That's good. That means the sugar is being released. That's what we're looking for, okay? So I'm gonna get two bananas. Let's work this here out. Cut it up. Ah, oh, yo, I'm telling you, when you taste this, you're gonna be so amazed. And the sauce, a chocolate rum sauce. Ha! As they would say when they're excited. Ooh, wee! We gonna make it right. So, I got the bananas. We gonna mash. Let's take a fork. You got this at home? Just mash it up. Mash it up, mash, mash, mash. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? That's all this is. Fresh banana fritters. This is something we make in the Virgin Islands. This is a Virgin Islands classic as well. I got my little twist to it, of course. Coming from the Virgin Islands, we got a lot of great tasty foods. And a lot of the dishes throughout the Caribbean may be called the same thing, but we have a little different twist to it, okay? So throughout my seasons and my episodes, you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. Now, the bananas are mashed. So to make this fritter, what we need to do is get our dry ingredients together, okay? For my dry ingredients, I got some flour. Okay, flour. I got some salt. Bacon powder. Got to get that bacon powder. You gotta get that little poof poof, right? Some cinnamon. And that's it on the dry ingredients. So what I'm gonna do here is just mix this up, incorporate all of the dry ingredients. So now, adding to this, set this here, right here. I've got some eggs. Now we're gonna work on our wet ingredients. As you can see, I mashed the bananas already. So what I'm gonna do is work on the wet ingredients. I got two eggs I'm gonna put into my bananas. That's right. Let me wipe this here up a little bit. Chop it in. See this, I'm, it's making this batter so far. I got a little bit of milk. Put that in there. This is gonna be so good. The smell already. Fresh banana fritters is what we're making. And after this, we're gonna tighten up on the what? Chocolate rum sauce. So, here we go. Now that I have my wet ingredients, I've got my dry ingredients. I'm gonna add it together and let it all come in a nice, beautiful batter. Look at that. Put this over here. I'm gonna need another spatula. Let me get this. So now I'm gonna fold it in. Look at this, guys. Can you see this? We're folding this in. This beautiful batter. So easy it is. In the meantime, I got some oil in the back getting hot. I'm gonna show you guys how easy this is to work with. But right now, we're gonna go into our chocolate sauce. Let's let me fold this in and let this rest. We wanna let this rest in the refrigerator. Just for a little time. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Yes. See, this is the batter. This is what we're looking for. So I'm gonna let this rest in the refrigerator while I make my chocolate sauce, okay? Put that in there, keeping it nice and chill. Yes. So, my chocolate sauce, we're gonna go on back here. Let me get a pot for that. I'll be right back with you guys, okay? With the chocolate sauce, very, very simple. What I got here, 
some milk that was heating up and I got some chocolate, some bittersweet chocolate. Look at that, bittersweet chocolate. We're gonna put this in and create a, a chocolate sauce, okay? I'm gonna put dump this in here. Mmm, it's looking good. And I'm gonna swirl it around so it's nice and melted to create that sauce, okay? And while that's doing that, I'm gonna finish it with some dark rum. But let me melt this down a little bit first, okay? Oh yes, it's looking good. Nice chocolate ganache, chocolate sauce. Mmm, you guys gonna love this here with the banana fritters. On top of this, with this sauce, woo! It's gonna be so good. Yes, we are jamming. Even this recipe, I got another version of this recipe on my YouTube channel, Catering CC. Check it out. Comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see all of the fun stuff we got coming on. We got a lot of cool stuff coming your way. You don't wanna miss one episode. Chef Winston in the house, we are having fun. So, this is looking good. Nice and creamy, look at this. Nice and creamy. So I'm gonna finish this with some um, dark rum to bring it all together. Perfect, perfect. This is what I'm looking for. Let me turn this off. And that's how simple that is. The chocolate sauce is done, right? So, while the oil is getting hot, we're gonna come back over here and start. Oh my goodness, this chocolate sauce looks so amazing. Ha! <laughs> mm. Make sure that's turned off. That's ready for me. So what I'm gonna do next, back to the shrimp, and then we're gonna come back and fry up our banana fritters. Very simple stuff, yo. So, I got my Creole sauce. I did forget to put my fresh thyme. We're gonna put fresh thyme in the Creole sauce. It's over here simmering, that's fine. I like adding my herbs at the last point. I don't like cooking with herbs during the cooking process. I like to get that freshness as it's finished cooking. So when you taste this, you, have, you taste the freshness of what you're offering your clients. That's, that's the word I use, clients, because I'm a caterer. But for you, for your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, your family, okay? So, work this here, get a nice hot pan. My pan is nice and hot, little bit of oil. Olive oil, I'm gonna put in here. Hope you guys can see, let's move this air on the side. Oh, this is pretty, we're gonna, we're gonna use you guys up too. Now, we're gonna add this shrimp in here. That's the sound I'm looking for. Get all of that good Chef Winston jerk seasoning in there. Put this on the side. Oh, baby, we are doing it now. Look how beautiful this looks. The shrimp is getting a nice little color. Turn it up, just a tad bit, yeah. This is what we're looking for, woo! Can you, hope you guys can smell <laughs> what I'm working with here. It's so, so good. Now, to follow this, I've got me some white wine. I'm gonna add some white wine to deglaze my pan. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're doing something. Add some white wine to deglaze the pan, and from there, as the white wine is reducing, getting all those alcoholic vapors out, which is a nice little sauna, by the way. We're gonna add our tomato sauce. Look at that. Put that in here. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Yes. Bring this here to a boil. We're gonna see, put a little bit of parsley. Mm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna taste it to see what we're working with. Yes, proper. A winner. Loving it, loving it. It's looking good. So I'm gonna let this hair cook down just a tad bit. I think I want a little more kick. I like it spicy. You like it spicy too? I sure do. Mmm. Can you guys see the bubble? Can you guys see how this is coming together? Look how beautiful this look. As you can see how beautiful this look and it smells even bit good and it's tasting even better. So what are we gonna do next? We're gonna jump on back to the stove and start making our banana fritters and tie this up so you guys could understand the flavors that we're working with this afternoon, okay? So let me go into my refrigerator and get back my banana fritters. Look at this. Whew, this is so good. <laughs> this smells so, so good. So, I've got me a nice little sorbet scoop. You can use a spoon to drop it in, but I got a sorbet scoop. We're gonna go on back here. Let me get my chocolate sauce 
on the side. The banana fritters is nice. The oil is just perfect. So we're gonna start working this out here. Let's see what we got. Oh, scoop it inside. Like I said, you can use a spoon and drop it in too. But since I got my fancy little sorbet scoop, why not, right? This hair is looking good and it's frying up. Ooh, look at that. It's frying up so beautiful. I'm so excited about this one here. So, so excited about this. This is something that, we, like I said, we do at the Virgin Islands as well. And when it comes to Caribbean cooking, you know Chef Winston is all over that. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. All right. Now that we got them all made, we're gonna bring them up front. We're gonna start plating up and see how fabulous this looks. Right back with you. Yes, so we're gonna plate this puppy up and make it nice. Let's, I cooked some rice. Some nice white fluffy rice. So we're gonna serve with our shrimp, Calypso shrimp creole. Look how beautiful this rice looks. Nothing, nothing fancy. Oh, we got stuff here that's bouncing all over the place. Oh. It's just, it's, listen, the season wants to get in the mix. All right, I'll bring you over because I'm gonna still use you, all right? So check this out. We got some rice that we're gonna put in the center and we're gonna create a little well to nest this beautiful Calypso Shrimp Creole, okay? Let's do like this. Mmm. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the Shrimp Creole, Calypso Shrimp Creole, put it and then my little crater here, my little rice bowl, so to speak. Ha! The peppers, the onions, the shrimp, the smell, the aroma. Look how beautiful this looks. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm so excited. Woo-hoo-hoo! Look at that! And then we're gonna follow this with just a little, just a little kiss of my island jerk, the mild one that is. Look how beautiful this look. Then we're gonna top it off with a little bit more elegance. A little more elegance. Look at that. Little floral herbs, some parsley I got. That's what the shrimp look like. Now, dessert. The plant, the, uh, the banana fritters. What we gonna do? Let's do something unique. I got my wine out of, let's get the wine out of the way. We're gonna get some bananas, some more bananas, right? I'm gonna cut these up and create a little base so we can have this dessert looking extra special. So what I'm gonna do here, peel my bananas and cut some banana evenly across. This is not necessary, but as a kid, well, you know, we like to make stuff look sexy, sharp it up a little bit. That's all I'm doing right here. This is not necessary for you to do, but this is what I like to do. So, what I'm gonna do next, let's get my chocolate sauce from the back. Oh, so luscious, oh, so, ooh, look at this chocolate sauce. Ah, perfect, chocolate rum sauce. We're gonna take, let me start from the back. We're gonna take an, a toothpick, put it right in there. Take a banana fritter, put it on top of the banana, put that in there. Stab this in here. Oh, we coming home, baby, we coming home. Perfect date night meal. Do it like this, do it like that. And what's next? We're gonna drizzle. This chocolate rum sauce over this. Oh yeah. What you think, guys? Are we working with this yet? It may look a little messy, but hey, come on now. Once it goes in the mouth, it got no pit. It's not pretty anyhow. Perfect, perfect. Just a little bit there. And, and then we're gonna put some white snow on here, some powder sugar. All right. How we looking? I'm so excited on this. So, there we have it. We've got our Calypso Shrimp Creole with a nice, a better, a better rice. And the banana fritters. Virgin Island style banana fritters. Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. You are watching Floribian Cuisine with Chef Winston. Hope you guys can join me next time, but before we go, let me take a quick little taste on this. But you know what? 
we gotta take pictures first. So I want you guys to just understand. Share, visit us on Instagram on Chef Winston Cooks and Catering CC. We got two Instagram units, Chef Winston Cooks and Catering CC. And follow us over there on YouTube, Catering CC. Until next time, join me for another great, fabulous, tasty cuisine with Chef Winston. Cheers. <laughs>